So question number 10 now. So question number 10 tells us find out the polynomial whose zeros are this. So we have got two zeros. One is root 2 and one is minus root 2. So as discussed earlier, what does the zero mean? Zero means the value of x. Very good. Root 2 and minus root 2. Therefore, can I say x value is root 2 and uh, x value is minus root 2. Minus root 2. So from zeros, can I find out root of factors? Therefore, yes. x minus, one second, x minus root 2 x plus and root. x plus root 2 are the factors. factors. So what does what do we mean by factors? Let me just give you a brief uh, reminder. So factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, 10. Isn't it? Which means that 10 is divisible by 1, 10 is divisible by 2, 10 is divisible by 5. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, sir. So suppose I know 10 is divisible by 2 and 10 is divisible by 5. So therefore, can I say if I multiply 2 and 5, 10 is also divisible by 10? So what do I mean by this? If I know a number is divisible by two numbers, then that number will be divisible by multiplication of that also. Therefore, x minus root 2 multiplied by x plus root 2, whatever the multiplication will give me, is also a factor. Understood? Yes, sir. So let us multiply. Which identity will be applicable over here? A square minus A plus B. A minus B. A plus B, which is A square minus minus B square. So I will be getting X square minus root two square, which will be X square minus two minus two is a polynomial. Polynomial. Question was polynomial. Huh? Yes. What sir. is the question about? Question was I find the polynomial. The polynomial. Yes. yes. Whose zeros are? So basically, x square minus two is a polynomial whose zeros are these. Oh, okay. Clear? It's a very important question. Similar to these, there are many questions in this worksheet. So question number 10 is one. Let me just show, show it to you. And after that, uh, question number 16 is also same. So you can note down. You can do it on your own. Question number 16 is similar to question number 10. Okay. So what next? Question number... How many saw the zeros? One second. sum and product yeah question number 34 so i'm not going to do all of these questions if you have doubt question number 34 is also same can you see find the polynomial whose roots are this roots bole if they say roots if they say zeros it means the same thing okay so last thing, yeah this is another 38 can you see find the quadratic polynomial whose roots are this so 38 question is another which is similar to the question which we did. Find a cubic polynomial whose three zeros are this. This can also be found in a similar manner. Okay. So what I would suggest, do this 38th question right now in front of me. So similar to the previous question, the two roots are 3 plus root 5, 3 minus root 5. So question number 38. 
let x equals to 3 plus root 5 and x equals to 3 minus root 5. Therefore, if I shift to the other side, minus 3 minus root 5 minus root equals to 0 and x minus 3 plus root 5 equals to 0. So I'll multiply both of them. Okay. So you can mark this as first equation, mark this as second equation. Okay. Multiplying 1 and 2. You can do this also. So x minus 3 minus root 5 multiplied by x minus 3 plus root 5. Okay. This will yes. give me the point. Now, there are multiple ways of looking at this question multiplication. The first is you do simple multiplication, first with x, then with minus 3, then with minus root 5. Another is a plus b, a minus b whole square. So I am looking for simple multiplication. So x multiplied by x is x, x squared. Square. Then x multiplied by 3 is minus 3x. Let me just uh, give me a second. Uh, so x multiplied by uh, root 5 would be plus um, root 5x. Now I will be taking, let me just hide this thing. Yeah. So minus 3 multiplied by every other number on the other side. So minus 3x minus minus plus 9 and it will become minus 3 root 5. Is this thing clear as of now? Yes, sir. Now let us take minus root 5 for the multiplication. So it will become minus root 5x. It will be minus minus plus 3 root 5 and minus plus minus is 5 because root 5 into root 5 is 5. Let's see, is there anything cancelled? Um, x square, I don't see. Minus 3x, minus 3x, I have. So x square will come as it is. It will become minus 6x. Anything else? Plus, uh, root, plus 3 root 5. Plus 5. Plus uh, plus root 5x five five. minus root 5x getting cancelled. After that, 9 is there. Okay, 9 is there and minus 5 is there. So it will become plus 4. And minus 3 root 5 and plus 3 root 5. So every number we have taken here. So my answer to this question is this is my polynomial. Uh, your answer was also correct. Yeah, good. Any doubt in this type of question now? No, sir. Yeah. 